Yo, what's going on guys? Today will be part two of what's in my box. Um, just want to start this video off by saying fuck this uh, spinner, bro. I, I, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but you know, I, I, I would like some good drops, well, some good pulls rather. So, congrats to all of you people who have pulled Siba. I have not, sadly. People asking me for a showcase on it. Um, little tip, if I have not mentioned it before, I have, but um, if I don't do a showcase on a, on a character, it means I didn't pull him. It's a Gotsi game, and nature of a Gotsi game is that you don't pull everything. I'm not a whale, not even close. I, I don't think I've spent money in Grand Blue in like half a year, so. Just throwing it out there to people, people wondering. Um, another thing is this, that this also applied to my Fallen Swords. I did not get any of them, so I'm going to be having only one. Uh, unless somebody's going to give them to me. I can't use my bars. <laughs> I got the bars. I got no weapons. How it is. So that's why I throw that out there for people wondering why I only have one fallen sword. Because I'm not lucky. And I, I have bars. Just not weapons. Can't borrow what you don't got. Now, today we'll be looking at my character that I mentioned before. Um, so the way I'm going to go over this is that, well, we're going to look at all my characters. Because I'm pretty sure people are wondering how many characters I have. Um, in total right now, I do have a total of 424. Um, rest in peace, 420. I did have that recently, but I ended up playing more characters during Christmas time. Rest in peace, my 420 meme. Oh, well. Now, I'm going to remove the R's because who cares about R characters, bro? They, other than Spinna, well, most of them, if not all of them, are pretty not usable. I mean, some of them are kind of usable, but... Yeah. Yeah, most of them got like better art SSRs now and stuff. Now, you can tell that I did recently pull with Vasharaga. Mm, it's cool to pull him, but eh, 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 eh. Like the new Akasha weapon, I think it does apply to Axe. I haven't finished farming Akasha yet. I've been really slacking. I have to start streaming GBF again because I do want to finish this farm. So I'll. I'll I thought it'd be best for me to, to stream the game for a little bit so I can finish farming this stuff because I'm gonna keep procrastinating. So at least if I stream it, I can't procrastinate nearly as hard. So that's my game plan. Um, I'd also pull the new Lowen, uh, the Wayne Bros, I think they're called. I haven't even tried them out. And all these units here, you can tell that their, their stat totals are low because I haven't even touched them. I haven't touched any new units since, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's a lot of low stats here. And none of these SRs have I have I touched. I don't know if any of them are really good. I believe he's good for um, one turning, so I gotta test them out and stuff. But a lot of these units here, I have not taken any time or effort into testing them. Even a uh, bait over here, uh, anti bait. Don't don't demonetize me, please. Thank you. Now you can see here, I did pull these two units. I think I pulled them during GW times, I believe. I think this one was from the GW ticket, and then this one from the guaranteed SSR ticket. I think you get that from um, being in a top 500 crew, I believe, or something like that. I don't I don't remember the GW rewards or how they're allocated. I, I don't keep track of that anymore. I just farm top 30K and collect my rewards at the end of the GW. Now I remember pulling for Lady Grey and I ended up getting her. This unit pissed me off. I don't think she's like awful or anything. Just that her her specialty is hot garbage dagger, and I would have preferred she was melee and dagger. But this unit like really pissed me off because I really want a Lady Grey. Now people are running Lady Grey for um Hades. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. <laughs> I tried to pull her, bro, but you know, it's okay. I believe it's just was when Europa came out, if I remember correctly. Cause I, I was pulling for Europa. That was my main my main goal. It was purely just for Europa. I didn't get her though. I can tell. And oh well. What can you do with the gotcha game? So we have black and white here, I believe, right? Is that their names? Yeah, Cure Black and Cure White. I don't believe I ever did a video on them. Their stats are low. What the hell? Oh, I think they have guaranteed double attack, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't even know what <laughs> I don't even know what they do, bro. I've I've never used them, not even one time, to my knowledge. I like I legit forgot all about the peak the pre cure collab thing. I think it was during a time I played Dragolia, so I got sidetracked. 
uh, these were all the thing that so this is my Anella Spark. These two I got from the Spark. Ended up getting Tsubasa as well. Let's see, uh, Rosetta. Though I don't really use these two units. I mean, I use her for memes, like bonus damage memes, but that's about it. I ended up getting her. I like her a lot. I use her outfit for um, Arkham. One of my her her Ogi looks really nice. I always liked her design. She's not lewd or anything, so there's people like mm, she must be lewd. No, I don't like her design. Looks rad. I think this was on summertime, right? Yo, this summer was so bad for me. Like, <laughs> look at the summertime. So this this around with Dark Angel Olivia's event, and this was the end of the summertime. Damn. <laughs> I didn't pull a single new unit. Feels bad. We did get some free rolls starting it, but I didn't pull anybody. I think it was Greya, Rosetta. Who else was there? Greya, Rosetta, uh, Noise, and it's one more. I can't. Isn't there one more? I can't remember the last unit. Huh. Uh, I, I forgot the last unit. I may I may remember it a little bit later, but I legit don't remember it. But I, I didn't get any of them, so it feels bad. Got cell fire here. Alright, so I ended up getting Nicholas and Luna Lu. I believe this is when Luna Lu first came out. I did a video on her. At the uh, at her event, the um gorilla event. That was really a weird event. And you can see that I had I had a like drought between Joker. Well, between Alex and Joker. Where I didn't pull nothing. <laughs> You can always tell in characters like like there's like a drought. <laughs> so this is my drought right here. I believe this was in April. Uh, Alex came out, I believe, April this, because I believe um John came out in March. And um, if I remember correctly, uh Alex came out right after John. I ended up luck sacking Alex. Like she came out in April. So that it was that that was. The Persona event came out, what, July? Oof, that was a long time. A long time of nothing. <laughs> Feels bad. So you guys can see how it is, you know? I haven't really been rolling much of anything. Sadly. So this was a De Detective Conan event. I think this came out in, what, February, I believe, of this year? Or maybe March. I know it came out this year. I don't remember exactly when it came out, though. It's probably March if I had to guess because I see John over here. So John was in the middle of March. Well, speaking of which, I want to throw this out to people. Um, do expect a popular unit. Like I I'm expecting somebody like Silva or something, some unit that's really popular during the middle of March to get a summer unit. So for people who like to pull purely for your your wee wee. Um, <laughs> Fucking Simon. <laughs> for people who like to pull for that type of stuff, I recommend saving your um your pulls. I know that you may be tempted to want to pull, but if you're gonna like spark, I think it's better to save your spark for March because it's gonna be a unit that comes out. I already know what it's gonna be once. That's why I think I'm gonna spark in March. I thought about um like saving the free rolls and stuff, but March does come with free rolls if I remember correctly. Um, because of the anniversary. So I think I'm going to be saving for March. Uh, try to pick up whatever summer unit comes out then. That's my idea, I think. Because I also want to pull Shiva. I'm, I'm in no... Like, Shiva is no rush because there's no GW. Like, at the end of the day, right? If you're trying to pull a unit, it's not that important. Like, Shiva's not that... I, I would more prefer to pull Fallen Sword than to pull Shiva because I can use Fallen Sword for GW. Right now, the way I look at this game is it's making your GW life more quality of life. That's how I look at it. So this was my spark for John. I ended up playing Greya, Elsa, Dragon Balls. I also got Dark Angel, Olivia, and Lucifer in this spark. A uh, Lucio, actually. Oh, well, we don't know his true name <laughs> yet. So I ended up playing these three in my spark. So I was really happy with this spark. That always wanted Dark Angel Olivia, um, not for her weapon, cause you know, she cute. 
I was very happy with this spark. This spark, this spark lit up my day. It was sad because I didn't pull John during my spark. Like ideally, you want to pull the rate up unit while you're sparking. Not to mention my Anilla spark. I didn't pull. Well, Anilla wasn't rate up, so I guess that, I guess that doesn't count. But I didn't pull any of the rate up units. My sparks, when it comes to pulling rate up units, they're really bad, really annoying. I never pull what I want when I spark. <laughs> It feels so bad. Oh, it's the one problem with the game being so outdated is that the cuts is so full of so many units that it's so hard with the rate up being so low now. Like I really feel like they need to increase the base rate to at least four percent to match Dragalia because they just too many units in the in the gotcha. There's too many. So right now I think the boosted rate on a unit is like point. 0.025 like that's so bad it used to be a lot higher when there was less units in the game now we have like a hundred SSRs in the normal gotcha pool it's ridiculous so I personally wish they would increase the rates like some other gotcha games once they get old enough you should be increasing your rates in my opinion so that this was the, uh, my anniversary ticket I don't regret ticketing her it's cute I really, really wanted her. I believe my next anniversary ticket will be Valentine's Medusa. Because I really want to, like, at the end of the day, I want to get units that make me happy. And I wanted Mary so bad. <laughs> I wanted her so bad. So what I think I'm going to do is that I'm going to try to get Medusa. Because I really, really, really want a Medusa on my own. Um, whether that's the... Uh, Lynx mate Medusa or Valentine's Medusa but you know I am not Japanese I don't live in Japan so I gotta get I gotta get me a Medusa and there's only one in the gotcha so if I have to add a free ticket to Valentine's Medusa I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it it may not be <clears throat> optimal but you know I want to get the unit I want people like always forget that bro at the end of the day you should be making getting units that make you want to play the game and yes, that means that Medusa being dropped right in the middle of my, my Earth team. I'll make it work. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Make her make her viable. I think she's melee, right? Medusa or Dagger. One of those two. <sighs> when I look at this, I get kind of annoyed because it reminds me of the fact that there's still no dog SR. I don't know what the fuck they was thinking. Giving me this piece of shit outfit. Speaking of which, we will go to my outfits in a minute. We'll be looking at them. They give me this fucking outfit instead of a unit. Are you fucking joking, bro? Oh, bro. Every other Zodiac has an SR besides one. What is? Th I hope to God they come back with Zoe's event and probably make it like I don't know Vera. So we haven't had a new Vera in a while, or, or some important character that defines Grand Blue. So hopefully you come back with another event and in that event they have SR dog. Cause I want a fucking SR dog, bro. Some bullshit. Some some bull I want my pity dog. They don't even they don't even give me a pity one, bro. Put to be at the end of the month or the end of the year. You get the pity unit. Where's my pity unit, bro? Damn. <laughs> you see my Mahira? This was the end of the year. Where's my pity unit at, bro? Where's my pity unit? <laughs> Oh, you can see my GW characters. So I did end up finishing my uh my bingo right after um what makes the sky blue. I think what makes the sky blue ended in um February, I believe, right? So that's around the time I finished my bingo. Bingo meaning that you have all ten eternals. Um, I ended up full limit breaking fun fun right after the uh uh right after the um what's this called? the fourth anniversary uh live stream so that's when i finished my five ten star bingo uh five ten ten stars i did five ten stars ten five star units so it's been a long time since i finished it's been what nine months so in three months from now i'll, I'll be have finished a year ago which is pretty cool when i think about it right i think i was like in top 200 i think top 200 to to finish it now it's like super common a lot of people even casuals have it so casuals when i say casual i mean people who don't really put invest a lot of time into the game 
you could tell that I spent a lot of time playing the game, so I don't I don't brag about it. People in 2018, everybody considered everything bragging, so. I think Mikasa came out last year, December, right? And Levi, right? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, uh, I kind of want them to put like the collabs in the uh, in the side stories. It kind of sucks that like there's some unit that people can never get. Like Street Fighter characters, if you haven't played the game since when I started, you'll never get a Street Fighter character, bro. Uh, I mean, they're, they're cool. They're not great units, don't get me wrong, but they're cool to have. It's a collection thing. Like, if you're a collector, you're pretty much forced to buy an account because there's just some units you'll never have. Like, I will never have the Slayer units. I want them, but I wasn't playing at the time. Kind of bothers me a little bit. Hopefully, the worst part about it, was I think that Slayer's event was AGW, which is really, uh... I heard it was really bad because <laughs> there was like a collab and a DW at the same time. I heard it was really rough. I don't know how it is stacked compared to now, but yeah. I don't remember any of this. Um, yeah, I don't remember any of this. I think it's around like December, November time. I remember I ended up getting Lady Grey really late. <laughs> I remember I really wanted her early game. Because Dark didn't have a lot of defense down, and I believe John was limited unit back then. Like if you didn't know, um, units like John, this girl here, Aliza, the one of them, Ayer, those units were actually limited, so you couldn't get them normally. They weren't in the normal gotcha pool. They ended up changing that though in like uh, August of 2016, I believe, and they put them in the standard gotcha pool. Got Anne here. I remember I was so happy when I got her. She's not a bad unit, but she doesn't have any offensive value. See, her armor is really nice though. Hopefully, we end up getting a summer one of her or something like some type of alternate to go with the um the anime coming out. That'd be cool. Oh, I forgot all about Nina. I do have Nina. Um, this was gifted to me, so it's cute. I did, I did a couple videos on her. She's cool. I wish they, like, they didn't nerf her so hard. Like her, The one problem with Nina is that her base stats are really, really low. So I don't I don't really like that. I kind of wish that they made her base stats a little bit stronger because of the fact that she does go into a weakened state after she goes into dragon. Not to mention getting her into dragon really hard. But Nina is a good example for what a Dragalia lost unit could be in this game so there is a possibility for dragalia lost to definitely fit in this game because we already have a pre-existing unit that has a mechanic that works perfectly well they could just do a little bit of tweaking make it a little bit easier to go into dragon form maybe make her gauge be based on like yudin for example um, make his gauge based around like how many hits he gets or some shit and he goes into his dragon form. Oh yeah, this was a great event. I remember that. I think like the SR Grey at the outfit. I like her outfit. Her outfit's really nice. I kind of wish her art was like this in the anime. Because I think this art is way better than her anime art. Something about it that looks really cute to me. I don't know why. But something about her art is extremely cute to me. I really wish her art. I wish the art style of the anime really just took from this. I feel like that's like the pinnacle of her design. Even her Razor Bahamut look is not nearly as good as that one, in my opinion. There's some characters like Forte who has a downgrade, but Greya, her SR, is a clear upgrade, in my opinion. Like, it's so good. One of the best arts for a Razor Bahamut character in this game. I remember Karen came out last year. Um, the summertime she was really cute she was young no i think she's like 14 so we can't can't say anything about that uh i remember this unit this unit killed my spark <laughs> i ended up pulling like 90 for her 90 rolls for her because i really wanted a summer john right 
and I believe this was in 2017 I, I think this came out yeah 2017 um, I believe like near the middle of 2017 like May if I had to guess May 2017 and I was really hoping for a summer John but we got this new SR John I was like you know what bro I was gonna spark summer John regardless so I'm gonna just whale <laughs> I'm gonna spend everything on getting this SR unit because I really want John so that that was my goal bro if there's a John in this game, I have to pull her, bro. Every option. Even if that means pulling out the wallet. <laughs> I don't want to, though. But if it means I have to pull out my wallet, I will, I will just do it, bro. Just for her. Only her. No, no other unit gets that love. Oh, I remember this. So we haven't had an IMATS collab in a while. But there was a time where they ran two of them back to back. And you can see that I gained a lot of them. Minami, I remember Minami was a really strong unit for a long time. Hopefully they come out with a Minami 5 star, then that'll make her really viable. She was a great unit at the time, 2017. She's really cute too. So hopefully Minami gets a 5 star. We haven't had an IMAX collab in I don't know how long. I'm not supposed to be hella important, bro. You doing all these other idol collabs? What about your mainstay, huh? Side games. What about your main girls, bro? You don't. You're not giving your main girls the love. Some bullshit. <laughs> oh, this, this is the event character. I mean, the story character. We haven't even been getting much story characters either. That's another thing I noticed. You to get story characters isn't like, but we haven't really gotten much over time. Some of their arcs are already already over and stuff. Like we're getting the gotcha version of them. Like we still haven't had Reinhardt's uh, gotcha version and uh, Folia. I guess Folia's uh, story version is not gonna be possible. The only one we're gonna get is the gotcha version of it. But you know, I kind of like the the free ones, you know. So I don't have to feel bad <laughs> when I get a costume. <laughs> That's the way I look at it, right? Like at least if the free one comes out, right, then. At least if you get the cost, like they come up with a costume, you won't feel nearly as bad. Cause I used to do it for Lesia. Cause I never had the SSR, but I still got their costumes because I can at least put it on the SR. Melissa Bella, I think got her, I think a little bit before her buff came out, the corn. So I was actually really happy when her buff came out. Cause her buff made her really valuable. I may start so really early on. Not too early on though. Gawain. Um, Matera. Oh, the Saddleverse event. We haven't had another one of these in a while either. A Saddleverse event. It was a cool event, but I think now when they have collapsed within their own company, they like it kind of sucks because you know that, like, when you look at Princess Connect characters, I, I would, I would have wished that Luna would have been as good as Princess Connect character. But you could tell, you know, that this was the past, right? What they do now, what events is totally different what they did before. Like Lyra, I think if she came out now, this would have been an SSR unit because she's an important story unit. But the fact that she came out in a time where SSR units weren't really that common. Um, she ended up getting shafted. Though, Lyra is still a very strong unit, used in one-turn combos all the time, so. Hopefully we get a new one, an SSR one. Hopefully. If not, oh well. I actually think we're gonna get a, a SR Lucio or something. For what makes the sky blue. If I had to guess. Or something. I. I do expect a new, another version of Lucifer to come out. It's been long enough. It's been like two years. Just like how we have SR Albert. Probably something new. Or an SSR version of Lucifer. Could be fine. A free, to, a free one. Hopefully it doesn't power creep the one that we currently have. Maybe a Dark Lucifer is an option. Oh, hold up. One second. I'm totally, I'm totally not playing Epic Summer right now. No, I am not. You have no proof, bro. 
during, during my video playing Epic Seven. Let's go. <laughs> I'm always grinding that game on the side. So this one air. I don't remember when I got air. It's been a while. Oh, this is the end of 2016, I believe. Oh, I remember Diantha. I got her from the CD. No, the, yeah, the CD. She was really cute when she came out. Prior to her summer one, I was really happy when I got her. Cause I, w I really wanted her because her outfit was really, really nice. She looked really cute. It was a good unit, actually, for Bahamut High Level for a while for water. So, she, she worked really well with Uno. Back when um, high defense was a big thing in Ultimate Bahamut, now it's like me everywhere. I kind of wish they had more high defense raids like Ultimate Bahamut, but I don't know why they, they're so against doing that. Hopefully in the anniversary, they did mention a new hard raid. And by hard raid, they, when I think of hard raid, I think of something with high defense. Where stamina is not nearly as viable. If you're trying to really maximize your damage. Oh, I made six and quattro really close by. I remember this. This was around um you were like my first GW characters actually. I don't believe I don't believe Quattro was my first GW character. He was my first five star though, but I don't believe he was my first GW character. I think my first GW character was Song, if I remember correctly. But this was like around when Rise of, Rise of the Beast first came out. Kieran, I believe. Yeah, when Kieran first came out. I could be wrong, though. Eustace came out in Halloween 2016. Oh, Ronko. I remember farming this unit. Oh my god, you had to like spam Brunhilda 500 times to get her. It was the worst. <laughs> the unit sucks too. I would love an SSR Ronko. Be so great, please. If even if she's in her Brunhilda farm or whatever, bro, she's so cute. It would be so great if she got like a better version. Cause right now this whole gimmick is annoying and it sucks. So I would love a really good Ronko. That'd be so great. Please, side games, make the dreams come true. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> So I can be in rough, man. They make life hard. Damn, we got so many. Pa We're only on page 12. Oh my god. When you have too many units. I remember surprised getting Vera. I, I, <laughs> I never had any Vera other than the summer one. Funny enough, I ended up getting the summer one before I got the dark one. Because I was really spending a lot of money during 2016 summer. Uh, that was like the most money I, I ever spent on Grand Blue. I don't even want to talk about that. But it was when I was new to Grand Blue, the first time me doing a summer gotcha. And it was so many cuties. <laughs> and my wallet, <laughs> it was open. <laughs> it was it, it was it was not a good time. <laughs> I don't really uh don't really agree with what I did there. Now when I look back at it, at least I don't really agree with it. But I was really lucky during that um that gotcha. It's, as you can tell, right? I did get Zoe on my first time pulling her. This was like she was like the last unit of the, the summer year. I think I got most of them. I think the only one I didn't get was Percival. I didn't get Hellas too. I ended up getting John and Zoe together. It was great, bro. I was so lucky. I'll never forget that. Sophia. Sophia's really still a good unit. <laughs> I still run her to this day. <laughs> She's only one of the, still one of the rare units with a good revive, her and Lena. The only problem is that I don't like running Lena because her cooldown is really long. Even if Sophia does miss maybe one in every like eight times, one in uh, five or something like that. I did pull Naramea. I pulled a lot of copies of Naramea, actually. I ended up max unbinding her weapon, right Kiri? So I always find that funny. So then we have the, the Vera and DLF. I pulled both of them because I think they came out at the same time. This is back when I was actually pulling on the standard gotcha, by the way. I wasn't pulling on Lightfest because there was not really a lot of Lightfest back then. 
Lake Fest was a lot harder to get to come by. Um, so that sucked. But I, I did pull in the normal banner to get them. I got really lucky. Vampy, Christina. I remember farming Christina. The casino. Oh god, I hate casino. Casino is the worst, bro. Then we have Fairy. Albert. Oh. I think I got Albert and Percival on the same 10 pole. Back when Percival was still four star, and he was not really the strongest unit. He was really good though, because Fear was like, he was the only unit with Fear prior to the BK coming out. So it was like Percival a bust. So he was my good Fear bot whenever I needed Fear. This is my very first DW character, Song, my cutie. Too bad he was not my first five star, but Song was definitely my first. Um, DW character. I, I made her purely on luck. I don't regret it either. <laughs> I don't regret it at all. Oh my god, the Tails collab. Oh brother, the Tails collab was the worst collab ever. Because you had to um, actually download the Tails games and play the, the fucking game to a like rank 70 or something to unlock the characters. <laughs> and the games, they suck. <laughs> They sucked so hard and they expect you to level up to level 70 to unlock these characters, bro I kind of miss it because it was so funny having to like download these other games to play them and people complaining <laughs> It was a funny time back then I kind of want them to do it again one more time. Maybe like um, I Can't oh like a Salvers collab get to Grandmaster <laughs> Get the Grand Master to unlock this character, bro. <laughs> that would be so funny, bro. I will, I would love them to do it this one time, just for the meme, in my opinion. Just to see people get, just to see people rage. <laughs> oh my god. My very first Zodiac was Monkey. I ended up pulling her. I pulled like four copies of Monkey so far. Monkey's always been. I've, I don't know. I've always really liked her design, and I've always been really lucky with Monkey. I'm very happy I pulled her. I used her for a long time, very long time. One of my longest used units next to Yule. Her and Yule are an Altair. Magasa. I got her early on too. Prior to her, um, her buffs. I got her really, really early on. That's dad. I mean, he's he not a dad, but you know, he may as well be a dad. <laughs> Siegfried. He wasn't even a five star when he came out. When I got him, he was four star only. It, it was really cool when he got his five star though, because his four star was not that great. Nemone. This was my this was my first spark actually. Um. So I sparked during Nemone's gotcha because I had enough rolls, and I ended up pulling for Catalina. So this is my very first spark unit with Catalina in um, May of 20, 2016. So I started I started in April and I had my first spark in, in May. Don't don't we don't talk about it though. <laughs> that came out of <laughs> that came out of pocket. <laughs> oh my god, that came out of pocket, bro. So I ended up pulling I think from Yoda. No, no, no. Yoda was from the Femisu event. It was after a Femisu event that they came with a, like a ticket, I think. And I ended up getting Yoda from it, like a 10 pole. So it must have started from Arlumea. Arlumea and down was my spark all the way to Catalina. My very first spark. I have only have three sparks right now in the game. My first spark was Catalina. My second spark was Summer John. And my third spark was Anella. I don't spark that often because, you know, Temptation is a bitch. <laughs> temptation is a bitch. I'm also very try hard, so it's really annoying when I don't have X unit to compete. Now it's not nearly as important, but back then it was important. Where MVP mattered. Now MVP don't matter nearly as much, so you could be much more casual and have to stress out over oh man I don't have this unit to compete 
like back then it, with the Hades, the days of the Hades, and if you didn't have Hades and Zoe, you you didn't play game. <laughs> you didn't get drops, bro. So you had to be Zoe, man, going into everybody raids and just fucking Zoeing everything. Back when uh, it was rough, rough times. Narameo, now we're getting to the end of my my units. You see that I, I pulled Narameo really early on. So like my third pull unit. I, I started with Zeta. I have I have a lot of units early game. Like in turn in terms of SSRs, I have a lot of them. And we're, now we're at the last page. So you can see that at all tier with my second unit. I ended up re-rolling for him. That's why he's my second unit. I think I think it was back when you had to do like to get like seven pulls and something like that. And I kept re-rolling until I got a unit. Just to give you guys an idea, it took me 43 accounts to get to this point. It took me 43 accounts to get my first account in Grand Blue. So when people ask me why do I have so many um, accounts, because it took me 43 to get my first unit. This is my um my very first surprise ticket. No, my my start dash. Yo, with my start dash, and this was my very first surprise ticket unit, Kaliostra. Cause he's cute. <laughs> I didn't know she was a trap back then, though. No. <laughs> no one told me <laughs> she was cute though. <laughs> so I ended up pulling for her. And this is my very first pulled unit in terms of me just playing the game normally. This Cerberus was my first one. I ended up pulling uh, Silva and Narame a little bit later, right after. So that's cool. I, Silva, she carries me for so long. That's why I like her a lot. But that's just pretty much all my characters. Hopefully people got a little bit of ideas about my characters and stuff. Next time I do this in 2019, I won't go all the way back, but I really wanted to go all the way back so people can get a full idea of, on how everything worked. Now we're gonna be looking at my, my costumes right now. Now, there's always been one costume I really wanted. There was V's costume, but I never got it because it cost too much. It wasn't worth it for me, just for a costume. I think like $100, $300 or something like for a costume, bro. Now I'm good, get out of here. It's expensive. But it's really a costume I really wanted. I also wanted um, outfit six, I believe. It's the normal version of DJ and Grand. That's voice. That I really like the voiced outfits. Honestly, I kind of wish they make more. Like we should have more voiced outfits. Like I, I I enjoyed them all being voiced more than I enjoyed them not being voiced. So I think what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna focus purely on their voice outfits if they get any more. This altered outfit, the one that came with the anniversary, I believe. Cool outfit, I like it. Monkey's outfit, I got it cause it's cute. Same thing with Anella's outfit, got it cause it's cute. Why not? I ended up finally getting Anella, but no point because I like bust the wolf. I like that way more. How how can I um ignore that? <laughs> like the outfit's cool and all, but bust the wolf is way better. So probably the same thing with Monkey's gonna happen. She probably have a a, a fighting game character's Ogi. So we'll see. I recently got Bea's outfit from a gift. I'll probably keep rocking this one because I think it's cool. I, li I at least like this right here. Her, the way she looks, I really like it. Her demeanor. Um, her sprite, not so much. I wish they changed it up a little bit more, but I really like this. So I'll keep running it. Looks cute. Kaliostra, I only have two of her outfits. Her anniversary outfit and her, um, and her meme outfit. Um, I believe there's an outfit I really wanted. I think the idol one. The idol outfit if I but it's like too late now but I really wanted that outfit I may end up getting it though Cut the room. this is the free event outfit kind of wish she has better outfits though I like her a lot oh well I use her a lot if my in my ultimate Bahamian high level solos so great unit 
Now the casino outfits. I wonder if they're gonna do more casino outfits. It's been a while. I don't know if they're going to or not. Like for the new story units, but I would hope they would. Probably not though. And we have fairy. So the main reason I didn't buy a fairy Christmas outfit because I have this one, and it's like, why? Why would I use any other outfit other than this outfit, bro? I literally have no reason to use another outfit for fairy. So unless they get an outfit that beats this one, and I don't think the Merry Christmas one is beating this one personally, I just don't see a point of getting another fairy outfit for a long time. I know, I remember um, Daniel used to run this outfit a lot. Ugh, I don't like it. Hellish outfit. Outfit looks cool, but eh, the unit sucks. <laughs> she doesn't have a good unit. Any, it's like she don't have any good variant in the game. Both her variants are hot garbage. Wait. Korwa made this? Yo, can we get a Korwa outfit? Can we get a new Korwa? Come on, man. Why she sucks? She's so out of meta, bro. Can we get a new one? That's good. <laughs> and a nice little silk, a silk outfit would be nice. Like a white outfit or something. Or a black outfit. I think black outfit would be cool. Casino outfit. Cares about that. Jessica's outfit. This is the anniversary outfit, I think. Yeah. Too bad there's no SSR Jessica yet. I am so surprised at that. Jessica's such an old unit. That I'm so surprised there's no SSR Jessica yet in the game. Especially with Aliza getting her SSR, but Jessica, none. This is the Jen event outfit from the um, uh, the V the V event. Catalina, so I have Catalina Christmas outfit, which is okay. I don't really like it that much though. I much prefer her casino outfit. Honestly, I think the casino outfit is the best outfit for her. Looks the best in my opinion. The only problem with it was, was the Ogi, I believe. But other than that, I think the casino outfit is her best outfit. So, probably stick to that one. Lancelot. Uh, I think the outfit's okay, but um, meh. I feel like he needs a new outfit, personally. And I'm not a fan of this one. <laughs> I, I think the, I think this is funny. But not an outfit I want to run on my unit. And it's time for the best outfit in the game. This outfit is by far the best outfit in the game. Hands down. There's no competition. If you have a different opinion, you're wrong. It's the best one. <laughs> Without question, bro. Sun. Oh, sky blue sunrise kimono. The best outfit in the game. Do we have Lunalu? I think this was from the event, right? Yeah, it's from the event. Lyra outfits, still no SSR unit. It's okay though. I believe, what makes the sky blue? Three, SSR, confirmed. You heard it here first, guys. Mahira, finally gonna have my own Mahira eventually. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I still don't have her. I'm trying, um, my goal is to get her before um, December of 2017, of uh, 2018, 2019. Because he's gonna be getting a full break in 2020. So that's my that's my goal. Yeah, you may notice that. We'll keep going, but you may notice something. Mary, uh, I like the outfit a lot, but the Christmas version of Mary is so good that it's no point. Nothing competing with that one. So, I like the outfit a lot, but Christmas Mary is the best. Now, Naramea, I wanted to get another outfit for her, her her CD outfit. I feel like that's the best outfit. The reason I didn't get it was because earlier, um, there was the uh, full limit break, and I felt like I would wait until the full limit break came out. Then after that, I stopped caring, but I still want to get it. Percival, this is the event outfit. Eh, meh, it's meh. Boss of my heart. Rackham's um, casino outfit. I think I don't think the outfit that bad at all. I use, I use it on him. Just that I don't use Rackham. Rosetta's outfit. So, this is her meme outfit, which is pretty whatever. Who cares? Her best outfit, in my opinion, is this one. Because, you know, this looks fucking gorgeous, bro. 
her sprite. I don't think the art had held up too well in my opinion, but the sprite looks fucking great. And then we have her um, kimono outfit. I think the anniversary outfit, I believe. Eh, it's okay. I brought it, but the casino one came out, and I was like, fuck, wasting money. <laughs> the casino outfit came out, and I was like, damn. Sakura, like, I think she's the only a, a, um, event character or that have an outfit. It's really weird. <laughs> so she got both her outfits and stuff. Siete, Smug Man, Speedo. How can you not love it? Hope I need to get more of the Eternal outfits. I don't have them all yet. I actually missed out on Fun Fun. I think I'm going to get Octo though. I think. We'll see though. Most likely I'm getting Octo. I didn't get Uno either. I don't know why. I should have got it, but eh, whatever. Got six outfit from the event, I believe. Um, this is another um anniversary outfit. I don't, um, eh, it's okay. I don't think it's that bad. Could be better though, in my opinion. Sarasa. Sarasa um outfit is awesome. I do wish they removed the um the top part of it though. And just kept it the red, um, the red part only. But you know, whatever. I can't be too picky. At least the sprite looks really good. But I, I don't feel like this right here looks that good because it's see through. But the sprite looks really good in my opinion. Song outfit. Do I say more? <laughs> now here we are. Dog. This piece of shit, bro. KMR, you fucking, oh my god, bro. First of all, you can see I didn't buy Dog's outfit because I don't fucking got the unit. I would have brought the outfit even if I didn't have the unit because I would have used it on the SR. But I didn't buy the outfit because there's no SR, bro. Where is my SR unit? Some bullshit. You know how much, oh my god, I'm so mad at this, bro. Oh. Mmm. Uh, yeah. God, man. Fuck. <laughs> Now we got Vera's outfit. I love this outfit so much. This is my favorite outfit for Vera, without question. All the other outfits, they, they can't compete with this one. It's just too good of an outfit. And we have Zoe's outfit, which I feel is a waste of money. Don't buy it. Dual Kachimo? It's cool, but it's like, eh. The Zoe already has good outfits, so what's the point? <laughs> I, I don't think it's worth purchasing. I mean, if you like Big Sword Zoe, I guess. Okay, go ahead. But not what I would call the, her best outfit. Somehow, this video ended up being 47. Holy fuck, bro. <laughs> this video is almost 50 minutes, bro. I was supposed to make this video shorter. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching if you sat through this. Oh, hopefully, you learned a little bit about my characters, uh, my opinions, what I think. Next time I, I do this in 2019, it won't be nearly as long, so we'll, we'll condense it, but I just wanted to go over all my stuff so people can like, get an idea. So when people ask me stuff, well, I mean, I have a video on it. <laughs> There's your answer, bro. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time and later.